Hi, this is Zach May with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 15th of June. Starting off with the S&P, where uh, we've had a decent move to our uh, target area, which was the top of that rising trend channel from back in October. So 43.60, 43.70, above 43.60, looking for a uh, fresh leg to the upside, as high as that uh, resistance line projection from back in August last year, heading for 4,700, maybe over the next uh, two to three months. Uh, support coming in. Basically, hopefully at old resistance, so in the 4290, 4300 zone. But as I said, ideally, we just head higher from here. Moving along to the stocks and uh, a bit of a unusual collection this uh, today, a coherent group, the first one. And uh, here we have a stock we haven't looked at before, but uh, we're looking for a, a triangle base to uh, materialize. Uh, here, the top of the triangle there up to $55. Hopefully, we'll get over the next two to four weeks or sooner and the floor of the triangle there at around the 26 27 dollar area the positives here are the way that we've had a double gap to the upside it's a bear trap island reversal as well so gapping down there in april and gapping higher last month so 55 dollars hopefully over the next uh, couple of weeks especially while we hold above old resistance at 45 dollars from the start of 2023 Onto a stock which we have covered here before, and let's see what the progress is for ELOX. Uh, here you can see that we were looking for a target towards the uh, $12 area. The uh, triangle reversal, I suppose, happened uh, slightly more in a rather more rough way than we were anticipating, but the current situation is that we bounced off a falling 200-day moving average around $5.50 above that, looking for that $12 zone, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. Moving along to a stock which is new to the sweep. Uh, here we've got Greenwich Generation Holdings. And um, and uh, here you can see that um, we've had a potential bear trap situation. So the old support there around $2.25. Uh, above that, looking for as high as $4 uh, or so, which is the 50-day moving average. And hopefully we could hit that by the end of next month. Uh, another stock which we're following up on, um, I suppose... Uh, as a uh, bullish contender is um, in a data. Here we were looking for the shares to hit the top of that broadening triangle around uh, the $10 mark um, over the near term. Obviously, they've more than done that now, so we have to re revise our previous target. So we're looking for the shares to uh, rise within a trend channel, as I'm drawing at the moment, so basically above the uh, $11 area, which is the, uh, floor, the uh, top of that gap higher that we had yesterday. Looking for up to $14.50 by the end of next month. So a nice progression there after the uh, uh, bear trap gap reversal that we had at the beginning of May. Rather more upfront and high profile stock coming up next, uh, Intel Corporation. Uh, here the shares uh, hitting our target there around $35, which is the top of a September rising trend channel. Next level up could be as high as $41 by the end of next month. Uh, given the way that uh, we've got now the 50 and 200 day moving averages both rising. But uh, we'll be surprised if, if there was any lasting price action back below the $34 level now on an end of day close basis. Moving on to a uh, stock which has also been in recovery mode of late, as you would expect with the chart breakers. So here you can see uh, Lumen just trying to uh, break back above the uh, 50 day moving average. What we'd like to see is... Uh, the stock uh, remain above the 50-day line, around uh, $2.20, uh, and above that, looking for the uh, top of that uh, broadening triangle from uh, March, as high as $3.25 by the end of next month. Bullish divergence coming in there as well, to so lower lows for June in the price window, but uh, higher RSI trade, so that is a positive there. One of the big jumping stocks of uh, yesterday was Next Decade Corporation, and uh, here, what I call a handbrake turn type situation. So the shares failing at the 200 day line and then uh, closing on the low earlier in the week, but uh, then massive turnaround for the stock uh, yesterday. Current sit uh, situation is that we're looking for the stock to head towards $10, which is a resistance line projection from the end of last year, basically uh, the end of November. And uh, that's valid while we hold above the old February resistance area around $7. $7.40, so above $7.40, uh, up to as high as $10 over the next four to six weeks. 
uh, stock of the year by uh, quite uh, some margin one could say is uh, nvidia and uh, here breaking higher again we were looking for 450 hopefully by the end of this month 500 dollars maybe by at the end of next month especially while we're above that old uh, in late may resistance in the 410 dollar area on to the last few first one is unity software here you can see that uh, we are just we've got a sort of bull flag breakout going on there the old peak there at uh, the beginning of the month around 39 dollars 50 above that looking for a resistance line projection from november as high as 54 dollars by the end of next month uh, last couple and uh, first is uh, vera therapeutics and uh, here you can see that uh, we've uh, managed to puncture the 200 day moving average around 12 dollars 40 above that we're looking for the shares to fill the gap up to 17 dollars 50 which was left at the uh, beginning of the year I don't expect much price action back below the 12 dollar area which is basically the uh, lower part of yesterday's range finishing off with a new name and uh, let's see if it becomes a regular we trade group here we've got a situation where we're, uh, after a rather uh, painful looking decline we've managed to wrestle with the 200 with the 50 day moving average there around 16 dollars uh, 16 dollars 50. Uh, the top of the range here, well, at least the re resistance on the way down, was uh, back at uh, $24. So that's the peak that we're looking for while we hold above the uh, neckline resistance at $13. Above 13 looking for the uh, $24 area. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.